days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on Shining bright, pushing through the storm and night. We'll be burning on and on and on. Hello, Cancer. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 16th of October until the 22nd of October 2017. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Seven of Swords. You might be doing something in secret. Hoping that you are safe and undiscovered, something goes awry and your secret is revealed to your embarrassment. This card therefore urges caution when attempting to use cunning or deception to gain an advantage over someone or something else. There is no question that there are times in life when it is necessary to act shrewdly or do something in secret. Perhaps you had to think on your feet and act in a way that was not exactly all above board. Perhaps you had to go behind other people's backs in order to manifest your desires. Perhaps you felt like you needed to cheat or take the easy way out. If acting shrewdly is something you must do. It is essential that you do this with a clear conscience and you are fully aware of the potential consequences of your actions. Taking the easy path is not always the best path, and sometimes you just have to exert a decent amount of effort to achieve what you want. You may be tempted to sneak away from a particular situation that is not working for you anymore, rather than dealing with it head on. As you do not feel ready to deal with the issues, you are aiming for a solution where you can just escape and not have to worry about it all. Are you trying to run away from commitment, responsibility, hard work or love? You may be procrastinating, letting problems slip and become worse because you do not want to deal with them. Sometimes you just have to face what has to be faced. So, the question is. Is this realistic? Will this escape really accomplish what you want to and need to accomplish? Will it address the fundamental issues at hand here? The likely answer is no, and it may simply be an easy way out for now. On the flip side, you also need to be very cautious and wary so that you do not become a victim of someone else's deception, betrayal, cheating and false motives. You may trust someone who then turns out to be running their own agenda, leaving you high and dry. You need to be very careful of who you trust over these coming months as you are at risk of being taken advantage of. Look out for any sneaky behavior and trust your gut instincts about when something does not feel right or is too good to be true. Sometimes, the Seven of Swords indicates a desire to go it alone. You want to discover, investigate and solve every problem using only your own wits and resources. You may believe that you have a better chance at success if you act on your own accord, ignoring the advice or inputs of others. This approach is useful when you need to bypass an ineffectual group or assert your independence but it can also have its limitations. You may end up feeling isolated and excluded, missing that great feeling of collaboration and synergy gained when you work with others. If you feel inclined to act alone, be sure this isolation will really work for you. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is. The Page of Cups. What do you want most right now is a positive message or news from loved ones. You may hear about the birth of a child, an engagement or marriage, a wonderful ideal plan, pregnancy, a new relationship, 
travel plans, etc. This positive message is unexpected but welcomed, and you are likely to respond to the news or message in an emotional manner. The Page of Cups suggests that you are more likely to show or express your emotions now. You may be more emotional or moved by simple things. Do not be afraid to let your feelings show and to wear your heart on your sleeve. It is okay to be sentimental and romantic. Let your heart lead the way. The Page of Cups is like your inner child-youthful, free, creative, intuitive and inspired. This page has never been taught to suppress his innate emotional and intuitive power and therefore he is a kindred spirit whose imagination is totally free, free to dream wonderful dreams and to create his life exactly as he chooses. In this way, the Page of Cups represents renewal of your emotional and creative self to allow that sense of freedom to reappear in your life. This card encourages you to take a fresh perspective on a difficult issue and to approach that situation with benefit of the doubt love and compassion. The Page of Cups appearance tells you to never stop listening to your intuition and believing in your dreams. If you cease to dream, then your dreams shall never come true because they do not exist anymore. In your darkest moments, dreams can often provide a ray of hope through with the Page of Cups can manifest. Dare to dream and all things become possible. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the two of cups. You are afraid of making commitment and decision of some sort. You may also be struggling to form new partnerships and relationships due to a lack of trust or unfinished business from the past. You may also be reluctant to open yourself and expose your true feelings resulting in disconnectedness from those around you or awkwardness. Your behavior has become guarded and constrained. The Two of Cups may indicate a breakup or a lack of harmony within a relationship or partnership. You may not be seeing eye to eye and there is tension in your relations with each other. Each partner is finding it quite hard to be truly honest with each other and therefore the flow of communication is broken. There is a lack of mutual respect and understanding. Upright, the Two of Cups is a beautiful card to have because it shows balance and emotional connection. It suggests that you are not on an even playing field and this is a fundamental issue. It is as if your partner thinks he or she is better than you or that his or her opinion matters more than yours. Even if a relationship is going great guns, the Two of Cups may be a sign that the relationship is more physical than heartfelt. It may be a fleeting affair rather than something more meaningful. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the Ace of Pentacles. You may see new opportunities come your way to generate a new source of income, or you may be lucky enough to receive a financial gift or windfall. On a broader level, this ace indicates abundance in all areas of your life and a general feeling that you are indeed blessed and deserving of everything that comes your way. Operate by the law of attraction, and send out positive energy into the universe so that you may receive abundance in return. The ace of pentacles is about manifestation of your goals and that you are moving into a more positive state of mind about what you are capable of achieving. Your ideas are ready to be turned into something tangible. Figure out what will work and make it a reality. Thus, the Ace of Pentacles sees you starting to map out how exactly you will achieve your goals, by creating targeted action plans and getting those actions underway. There are opportunities that are becoming available to you that will help you to manifest your goals and realize your inner potential, whilst at the same time generate some level of income and financial support. You are beginning to see that the world is indeed your oyster and that through careful planning, you can manifest your true goals and desires. The Ace of Pentacles can suggest that you need to introduce something new into the equation. 
rather than let things remain as they are, and hope they work themselves out. The Ace of Pentacles suggests you throw something new into the mix. Consider something that is out of character or something you might not ordinarily do, or get around to doing. For instance, you might consider joining a club, taking a class to learn new skills or maybe even picking up a couple of books to learn how to build a new business. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the nine of pentacles. You are afraid of financial setbacks or you have experienced a loss due to unwise decisions or foolish actions. Your foundations may be about to give way. If they do, learn from your mistakes and build a more solid and secure foundation next time. The Nine of Pentacles can also indicate an overinvestment in work. You are working long hours at the detriment of your personal life. This is a good time to return to a natural setting, for example a forest, beach, mountain or lake, to restore your energies and rejuvenate yourself. You may need to release some of your focus on needing to sustain particular income and a particular standard of living, especially if this is coming in the way of other life priorities such as family or relationships. You may think you need the best of everything but really, all you need is your family and loved ones around you. Do not be afraid to take a cut to your income for a short time or to reduce your hours at work, even if this means that you have to eat rice and beans each night for a week to make up for it. It is important that you are focused on what is most important to you. Finances may need to come second and while you need to at least have food on the table, there may be some areas where you can cut back and reduce your dependence on material wealth. You want to be able to lead a luxurious life but there is something getting in the way. For example, part of you knows you deserve a beautiful home but another part of you doubts yourself and whether or not you can truly afford it or whether you are going too far and splurging. You want to be surrounded by beauty but you also do not want to be dependent on material possessions for your satisfaction and fulfillment. You do not want to be seen as spending your money frivolously, and so you are reluctant to invest in luxury. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the fool. You are about to set forth on a new journey, one that is completely unknown and will take you to uncharted territories. The Fool is all about new experiences, personal growth, development and adventure. The Fool card asks you to take a leap of faith and to trust in the universe in that if you begin a new journey, you will find success. This Fool lives a carefree life, free from worry and anxiety. He does not seem to mind if he does not really know what lies ahead. The Fool card may represent a choice to be made, one of vital importance. However, there are always many different options available and the choice must be made wisely. If you are facing a decision or moment of doubt, the Fool encourages you to believe in yourself and follow your heart no matter how crazy or foolish your impulses may seem. This is a time when you need to truly believe and have faith in where the universe is taking you. The Fool is an excellent card to meditate on if you are experiencing a lot of fear in your life. The Fool enhances courage, risk taking and the creative expression needed to open up new areas in your life. The Fool is always whole, healthy and without fear. He is the spirit of who we are the spirit expressed and experienced as wonder, awe, curiosity and anticipation. We never know what is in the future but like the fool we must blindly go forward. You need to trust that you are a spirit born into flesh to enjoy life and grow in experience. Take a chance and see what happens. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. The White Gold Dragon from Lyra. These white gold dragons are attracted to you now because you already carry Christ light in your aura. 
ask one to take you to the ninth dimensional pool of Christ energy, held in Le Camay. Visualize yourself bathing in the pool, which shimmers and swirls with pure love and light. Feel yourself absorbing all you are ready to receive. When you return, continue to feel the white gold light in your aura and practice pure unconditional love in your daily life. Your aura will radiate the incredibly high frequency of white gold, and the white gold dragon from Lyra will support you by continuing to pour Christ light into you. Take time to find a quiet still place where you can listen to its wisdom and guidance. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.